Thank you all for being here today and listening to my informative speech. So, my informative speech topic is going to be about toxic masculinity. Who on the audience knows what toxic masculinity is? Okay, so for today, I hope to expand your knowledge on toxic masculinity and like hopefully teach you something new. So, the, de the dictionary definition of toxic masculinity is society's uh, invisible pressure on males to conform to our ideal man or to be a man. So this basically means suppressing your other more feminine emotions or what's perceived to be more feminine emotions and to only be what society thinks a man should be. So um, there's a difference between toxic masculinity and normal masculinity. Masculinity is a good thing and it's very healthy for males to have and is very it's needed in our society. Things like supporting your family, providing for your family, working, friendly competition, all these things are healthy and they aren't toxic in any way and we actually need them. And not having masculinity can also be a bad thing too. But there's a big difference between masculinity and toxic masculinity. So toxic masculinity is where you have all these good masculine things, but then you try and suppress all of these, what's perceived to be more feminine things too. So this can affect children, this can affect teenagers, adults, and all um, men. So in children, an example of this would be my brother. My brother used to love playing with Playmobiles and Legos and action figures, and he would build these huge things, and it was his favorite thing to do. He also really liked to draw. Well, one day, my dad said that he was playing with dolls. And that was a girly thing to do, and instead he should be outside doing other things. And so now he never did that again, even though it was something he really enjoyed in order to be a man or to be like my dad. So something that is more masculine. And so he shoved away all those things that he enjoyed and didn't like that he liked to do just so he could be a man. So um, this can also, instead of letting your feelings show about being sad, being shy, being smart, being all these things, then um, suppressing all of those things, he, it turned into violence and aggression. And this is a big thing in men being aggressive, violent, just like tending to be more like these things because they are suppressing their other emotions that are healthy emotions to show, just not societies. Like they don't think they're meant to show this. So this as teenagers can grow to be more violent, aggressive, and it just grows and grows and grows until they are adults. So. Um, another important thing that is enforcing toxic masculinity and ingrating toxic masculinity into our society is media. So big movies and TV shows, there isn't really a lot of representation of males who aren't really like the superhero type. So all the movies that you go and see, all the males are like strong, big superheroes, super athletic, super aggressive, super strong, all these things. And so they, um, they feel like they have to conform to these expectations that they see on TV shows and that they see in the movies. And so children, when they see these, if they aren't like these people that are in the media, they feel down about themselves and feel the pressure of toxic masculinity to live up to these almost impossible standards to be like these superheroes, these magic people that they see on TV. So it's really important in entertainment and in media to show the more not as perfect side of males. So like males who aren't as athletically inclined, who aren't as um, good with girls, aren't have the perfect muscular body. Like all these things are important to show too so that males aren't like feeling left out or feeling like they don't live up to these impossible and invisible standards. So what can we do to help with this? So it's really important as girls and as males to realize this and to start thinking of ways and start practicing these ways that you can reduce the effects of toxic masculinity on the people around you. So if you see someone, a male, like showing your feelings, crying, being sensitive, all these things, don't make fun of them, don't say like, oh, act man up, don't act like a little girl, you're acting like a baby girl, because then they'll um, associate these feelings with being not manly. So it's important to, uh, to accept all sorts of feelings, sensitivity, and emotions, and activities. So if a male isn't as, as athletically inclined, or they don't really like sports, like it's not good to be like, oh, you're not being like a man, be a man, go outside, all these things. So it's very important to do all that stuff. So thank you all for listening to my speech, and I hope that you all learned something new, and take these things that you learned 
and practice them in society today.